Hello everyone. Wherever you are, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Given a lot of sustenance. Back again with me Alex. This time, I will review the film's storyline. A very surprising survival movie story. And this movie called Far North that was released in 2007. Which is this movie the story is really very exciting and unique because tells of a man stranded on the arctic tundra with two beautiful women for in this far away place everywhere there was no other man but the man finally the two women fought over the man and who in the between them who will win the man's heart okay we just look at the storyline prepare the story begins showing a woman named Saifa who was expelled from her tribe was caused by his curse so that his presence will causing people around him harm and when i got somewhere at that time Saifa met a man named Liwo who immediately fell in love with him then Liwo took Saipa to his tribe which here Saipa did not refuse he also likes Liwo arriving at the tribe Nai Liwo also gave a gift in the form of a wolf claw necklace. Make Saipa who receive it really feel very happy at that time. They did romantic moment and to their heart's content. In front of the campfire. One day Saipa came back to the tribe. It was to meet his beloved girlfriend Liwo. But here Saipa felt astonished when he found the tribe. It's as quiet as before. And when Saipa came into one of their dwellings. Himself shocked. When saw they were dead, slaughtered by Soviet soldiers, who are conducting a cleaning operation. When Saipa tries to investigate, he felt happy when he found his girlfriend. Liwo is still alive, but unlucky. Soon a soldier named Ukraisky approached Liwo and killed him with a legend knife made by Sibatu, whose installments have not been paid off. Of course have. That reality makes Saifa who saw it very sad. With broken feelings, then Saipa ran away, but unfortunately the Soviet army saw it, so that they chased Saipa. Which is when Saipa is cornered, Ukraisky who has not tasted pussy for a long time, even sex. While standing using Selador style Gomon, after Ukraisky left him, Saipa was crying because he felt, it's been likened to be like animals. Saipa returned to the tribe and hugged her lover's corpse. Then he untied himself. After being untied, here Saipa found the legend knife. Artificial Sibatu in Liwo's hand. It turned out that Liwo was intending to run away. But the unlucky. Because Ukraisky the savage rushed to kill him. Saipa took the knife to keep it. Which is when Saipa enters one. Where the tribe lived. He found a living baby girl. With full of happiness. Saipa took the baby. And named her Anya. Shortly Ukraisky approached him. Ukraisky says that the government deliberately conducted a cleanup operation that all the coal in the region. This is theirs. Then Ukraisky asked that Saipa deliver himself and his friends to the road that leads into the city. Caused him and his friends to get lost. Don't know the way home. And if Saipa is willing, then he will let Saipa and the baby live. Hearing that, Saipa agreed. Then right then and there, they immediately left the place, following Saipa. The next day, while passing Saipa glazers fed up to them, himself cut the rope tied to his waist. Then he pulled them into the abyss, before dropping it. Here, Saipa took a dog tag belonging to one of them. 23 years later, which was when Saipa and Anya were camping in the sub, Archaeological, Siberia at that time they had no food, until finally here Saipa was forced to kill one of them, his sled puller dog, to eat them then. They cooked and ate it with great gusto. After full eating, they went to find another shelter. Cause it's really hard there to find food. The next day on my way. They came very close to getting caught by Soviet soldiers. But luckily, the Soviet army did not see them. Until they finally survived. Days later Saipa found his boat engine dead. 
They were forced to row, which after traveling quite a distance, they got to the archaeological tundra. They decided to stay here, because it looks like this place is very safe. And it won't be hard to find food. His night after establishing a shelter, they slept very well. The next morning, when Sapo was looking around the place, himself found there was a man who miscarried asking for help. See that Sapa immediately took out the machete legend made Sibadu, which he bought at the Sikurug market, just in case, which when the man was almost close, the man fell fragrant quail limp with pity. Sapa took the man to his place, then treated in a way that he can. Soon Anya came. He asked Saifa who the man was, and where it came from. Saifa answered herself not knowing, because of her found the man already, is in the region in a state of limp, helpless, overheard their conversation. The man woke up, and told him introduce himself, the name is Koiski. His master said that his name was Anya, and the woman who helped Koiski, was his adoptive mother named Saifa. Anya told her that Koiski was lucky because her adoptive mother helped her. Because if his adoptive mother doesn't help, surely now Koiski is dead. Heard that Koiski also admitted. And the next day, Koiski came with them to hunt. On my way, Koiski's hand holds Sapa's hand and say thank you because Sapa for saving his life. Then, Koisuke asks, what to do now to repay the kindness? They just said that Koisuke had to bring reindeer to there. Koisuke promised that will fulfill their request that. When you get to a place, they caught seals. When they returned to their homes, they ate. The seal meat was raw, which to warm up the atmosphere there. The chef played the radio he brought and coincidentally the radio was love broadcasting a song. While Sapa himself makes toys, made Anya very entertained. <laughs> Where the night, it as Anya went to get ice to drink there. Saifa asked what Koiski was doing in this tundra. The Koisiki informed that the government sent all healthy men to the tundra. This is to drive out all the tribes that live, because this area will be used as mining. Knowing it's Saper reveal. What would happen to the Koisiki if now the Soviet army found himself? The Koisiki said he would be shot dead for abandoning his duties. Hearing that, Saifa felt sorry for the Koisiki. Saifa said that for now, Koisiki can stay with them. But when the sea freezes again, then the Koisiki has to go. Accept the fact that the Koisiki was very happy. Then he gave a gift. To say bye bye fuck him it. Made Anya peek at him from outside. Very horny. And the same pussy want to be tasted by Koisuke. After they finished doing fuck and Anya entered. And without appreciating the feeling of his foster mother. Anya, who was already horny. And told her to brush her hair. See the Saifa hooked with pipe Koisuke. His heart was broken. The morning while they were still asleep. Koisuke went deer hunting to fulfill his promise. But unlucky when Koisuke was about to shoot, the deer it's been aiming for, unexpectedly to Soviet soldiers came to rest him. Then, Koisuke was taken to be killed. But when the will Koisuke put on the boat, he beat the two soldiers and immediately shot him without mercy. Then he went home with his supplies. When got there, Saif asked. Why did Koisuke go not ask permission first? To himself, heard that Koisuke did not answer. Which one is here? When Saifa was about to tell on Koisuke about the curse that was on him, suddenly Anya came and invite Koisuke in to do sex. Certainly that thing. Saifa was really very upset because of her. Not so tell to Koisuke about the curse. After satisfied having sex, Anya came out and invited Sapa into their residence. Saw that Anya's hair was a little messy, 
and her shirt is open here. Seipa also feels bad, because Anya had the heart to snatch Koiski from him. As a result of that incident, Seipa could not sleep at night. After Anya gave her cute pussy to Koiski, the two are getting closer and like spending time together. Then at that time Koiski asked, why did Anya and Saifa choose to stay? This is far from the crowd. Anya answered because of Saifa. His foster mom didn't like living side by side with someone else. And then Anya asked back, does Koiski already have a wife? Koiski says yet. Yeah. Of course it made Anya really, really feel happy because he will be able to live with Koiski. <sighs> Along with time, now they are both getting bolder. Show his intimacy in front of Saitha, without appreciating his feelings at all. Because it feels bad to see their intimacy. That night, Saifa went to hunt. When Saifa left, they have sex until morning. Until the morning when Saifa came home, he felt sad, caused by being close to Anya. Koiski never made out with her again. One day Koiski finally managed to shoot a deer. Then himself, he took her to fulfill his promise to them. Then Anya cooked it very delicious. And when they were cooked they ate it very heartily. And while eating, immediately Saifa teased Koiski. However, Koiski who already loves Anya himself does not serve her. Caused every day sex with Koiski. Finally, Anya got pregnant. Then Anya tell to Saifa that in a few days, he and Koiski will go and decide to living in the city. Hearing this, Saipa forbade Anya for not knowing all about Koiski. Anya said she knew it, cause Koiski already told me everything. Knowing that Saipa was immediately silent, then Anya immediately hugged him. After Anya left, Shafa cried, because he doesn't. Anya who has been cared for since she was a baby. Where the night is without shame, Anya and Koiski have sex in front of Sayapa, make Sapa's heart more broken. And the next morning, Koiski went hunting for a trip to the city. In the afternoon, Anya also clean up the things that want to. Then, he invited Sayapa to come with him to the city. However, Sayapa who feared his presence would bring disaster to others, and he refused to go. And here the heart of Shaper really feels broken. Where feelings of jealousy mixed with sadness unite. In his heart, she offered to Anya to comb him hair and braid her hair. Listening to that, Anya who has no suspicion, also allow it. But after finishing Sapa who has lost his faith, he had the heart to strangle Anya using her hair until poor Anya died. While Koiski who was hunting, seen himself taking flowers to give to Anya, the woman he loved the most. Here Koiski don't know that the woman he loved so much was dead murdered by a jealous Saifa. On the other hand Saifa is absurdly depraved. Mercilessly he skinned Anya's face. After taking the skin off her face, Saifa threw away Anya's body. Then he put on Anya's clothes and put the skin on his face. So that later when Koiski comes home, he thought he was Anya. By evening, finally Kosuki went home. See Anya lying. Kosuki who have no suspicion that it is Seipa. Immediately approached and men Plodnya. But when they are engrossed in doing sex. And here Kosuki discovered that apparently, the woman who was being molested was not Anya, but Saifa who wears her facial skin. Accept the fact that, Koiski was very horrified and immediately ran away in a state of no clothes. While Saifa at that time abandoned himself, crying regretting all his actions, but all his regrets are useless. It won't make Anya come back to life. Finished ending that really softens.